Redditors of HR. What are the biggest office dramas you've experienced? Before we start with the first story, please hit subscribe and ring the notification bell to stay updated with us. Story 1. When I was a kid we had a family friend who was a caseworker for foster children. He was also into camping and hiking and invited me to a guy's camping trip one weekend when I was probably 12 or so. For whatever reason I wasn't able to go but he left an open invitation for the future. I never did go camping with him because of schedule conflicts. Well, a couple years later it came out that he was inviting young boys to go camping to molest them. Still gives me chills just thinking how close I came to being a victim there. Story 2 Used to do baggage handling at the airport for a small route that only flew to one place and back. We had to empty the toilets and then go in and help clean the insides and such. One day we had enough people for two teams, a miracle, and one went inside while the rest of us did outside stuff. Someone flushed the toilet when the guy outside was hooking up the poo truck, sprayed him with shit and covered him. Thankfully this was during COVID and he had a mask and goggles on, but he smelled like shit and was understandably upset. They sent him home thankfully, but one of the guys who always hated being at work, complained to the point that our boss boss walked into the room and yelled, he was covered in human shit. yes he gets to go home early. Story 3 I worked at a software startup early in my career and our software needed some direction so a software architect was hired. He was a bit strange, but that's not unusual for developers nor software architects. He was there some months, missed a lot of days, claimed he was working from home, etc. Finally, he either quit or was let go. I don't remember which. A few months after that, another dev asked if we'd heard about what happened to him. No one had, so he explained that this guy had been chatting up what he thought was a 13-year-old girl in some chat channel, and had arranged to meet her for s***. Yep, it wasn't a 13-year-old girl but a police sting operation. When he showed up, he was arrested for solicitation of s*** from a minor. I believe he was sentenced to 7 or 8 years in prison. Story 4 My female boss was her male boss in the parking garage, working late and her cell phone off, my boss's husband came looking for her and found them in her car. Fight ensued. Got the story from the garage security guy. My boss and her boss both had black eyes the next day at work. I didn't get to see what the husband looked like. Both bosses continued their jobs like it never happened. Story 5 Oh dear lord, I am friends with an HR attorney for a large agency. So so many stories, but possibly my favorites is one where they walked in and fired one woman for dereliction of duty soon as she showed up for her shift. Like she was horrible at her job and barely performed, she was probational and it was clearly not working out. She and her boss leave for lunch, and when they return, they discover employee is back on campus and working like nothing happened. Even greeted them in the gates. They are shocked and ask why she's there when she's been terminated. Employee answered that, I'm working, you can't just fire me. This is my job, and proceeds to turn around, ignore them, and keep working. They again repeat she's been terminated, she needs to go. She says, I reject that, I don't accept your termination, she literally had to almost be dragged out. It was quite entertaining. Story 6 Normal scandal. The owner left his wife for his secretary, but the wife owned 50% of the company and she made him pay through the nose for it. He was a total stereotype. The company had become really prosperous, he started working out, got a really expensive sports car, Lamborghini I think. Then he dumped his wife, was publicly involved with secretary, left his company to be run by other people and ran off to California, married, and had kids. He was kind of head before that anyway. Story 7 The receptionist and the land administrator had an affair and she got pregnant. Her husband had had a vasectomy years earlier. The office affair ended, and the receptionist and her husband maintained that it was a miracle from God. It's a small town and everyone knew about the affair. It was a big scandal. The receptionist and the land administrator were both kicked out of the church they belonged to. Publicly, the receptionist and her husband pretended nothing had happened and that this was a wonderful surprise. But everyone knew it was not likely to be the husband's child. Story 8 New HR lady? Very pretty. Looks like a shorter and slightly less stacked jet. All the boys in sales are interested and there is some macho generally brewing between them which is highly unusual for our workplace. None of them have actually asked her the f out yet because if they did that and she said no, they'd be out of the running. So it's just a lot of 20-something year old guys being in a way that is sort of deniable. 
One Friday their normal pub was full so they go looking slightly further afield for their normal Friday lunch pint, this is normal in our industry, and end up in a pub the other side of town, where they spot Jessica Rabbit HR lady, in a romantic entanglement with the lady from the front desk, and thus were many egos swiftly deflated. Story 9 The manager was having an affair with one of our team members, and no one knew. It was lunchtime and his wife came to surprise him and drop some food off. Me, my other colleague, and his wife were walking together towards the kitchen. She was telling us how her husband has been working so late, and he doesn't get time to eat lunch, so she wanted to make sure he doesn't overwork. We walked down towards the small corridor towards the kitchen and saw the manager's team member while she was up against the wall. His wife dropped the food bags in shock and was trembling and fainted. My colleague called an ambulance. Manager and team member were fired for their inappropriate behavior on company grounds. We don't know what happened to the wife. Story 10 I reported this to HR. I worked in a call center. Got a call from a customer claiming to be stalked by another call center advisor she talked to. This guy was on my team and a total creep. Had a wife and kids too. He had used the customer's social media using her account details, then somehow found her OnlyFans page from her social media. He joined that and then went to her house and left flowers and gifts at her door. He started calling her talking about how he loved her and needed her and whatnot. He was fired pretty quickly after I reported it and his wife left him. Management had a little go at me for not defending the company and siding with the customer when she was reporting the issue and crying. But I told them I acted the best I could and in the customer's best interests and no manager was available to take the call off me at the time meaning I had to deal with the entire phone call and report myself. Story 11 We had a guy in the neighborhood when I was little who was really friendly and funny and cool as shit. He was friends with my parents so sometimes he'd be in our yard just shooting the shit with them and as you'd expect, I spent a fair amount of time near him due to him just being around occasionally. I always got super embarrassed when he'd ask me if there's any girls I liked at school but sometimes adults would do that, you know just to pick on a kid and make M embarrassed. But he would always ask me about girls. This would go on between about the ages of 5 to 10 or so. What made his questions a little more embarrassing than most is that he would always make jokes about asking if I was hiding away any naked pictures of these girls. He'd be like, you better not be stashing any naked pictures of them in your wallet. Let me see, come on, give him up in a jokey scolding tone. Dude was always asking me about naked pictures of my classmates. Fast forward a little bit and I find out he's going to prison for the next 65 years, but my parents won't tell me why. Well, a few years ago I found out that he had been making his own CP with the handicapped neighbor girl down the road for years. She's about my age, so she was also between 5 to 10 when he was abusing her. Story 12 My mother was in HR for about 35 years. She has some wild ones, including the guy who committed suicide and set up a scavenger hunt of suicide notes. He'd had an affair with someone at the company, and it blew up, killed himself over it, blamed the other woman for it, and literally left scavenger hunt style notes around the office, with prizes at each stage including revenge porn and her lingerie. The guy who didn't turn up to work for two or three days, when it was finally flagged for HR they went over to his house, convinced a family member to unlock it for them, and found him face down on the floor of his bedroom having had a stroke, the dude survived. An aircon engineer got blown up while doing some work. His workmate was on the roof and put the wrong rod in the wrong hole, causing an explosion. Fortunately, an employee found him while he was literally on fire in the corridor and dragged him to some showers saved his life. Plumbers working on sewage pipes, bathrooms on the one floor are closed with signs, barriers, and tape. Someone physically removed the tape and barriers took a sh** and flushed. The plumber was literally covered. They never caught the dude. Creep set up spy cams in the women's locker room, caught him because he was on his own video placing the camera in its hiding spot after they found the cameras and footage was reviewed. There are so, so many more stories. Story 13 One of the employees was having random grinder hookups in the bathroom at work so his wife wouldn't find out. He would go missing for a half hour at a time multiple times a day. We watched the camera to figure out what he was doing. Over and over again he would lead different guys into the bathroom. One day alone we counted six different guys. We confronted him about it, was in the process of letting him go, and all of a sudden he grabs a pair of scissors and holds them to his throat, screaming about how we ruined his life and he's going to end it all. Little did he know security was walking in when he was going off. The security officer walked right behind him and in one motion got the scissors and was restraining the guy. We called the police and EMTs. 
They took him away about a month and a half later he came back in claiming to have found Jesus. He and Jesus apparently prayed it over, and they believe he should get his job back. One of the higher-ups heard about it and said when Jesus starts paying the payroll, then Jesus can decide who should work here. Story 14 New guy joins firm. Call him Ross. Ross is freshly divorced. Ross ends up hooking up with one of the firm's newest partners at a big firm party. We'll call her Rachel. They seem very happy together, buy a house, get a dog, etc. Two years later, the same party is thrown again, but Rachel has a family thing so Ross goes solo. No biggie. Thereafter, Ross starts working really late. This isn't surprising, Ross isn't great at his job and has been on thin ice with the partner he works under for a while, who we will call Chandler. Ross often works so late that he says there isn't much time to come home, so sleeps on Joey's couch, a friend of his who works in the same department and happens to have a flat right next to the office. No biggie, right? Wrong. One of these nights Ross is working late, Rachel gets a call from the fire department, having just cut Ross out of his total car, that he had crashed because the woman in it with him in a state of undress. The woman in question is Phoebe, one of Rachel's direct reports, and Phoebe is married to Chandler. This all happened like less than three months ago. By the way, Rachel had a crying, yelling fit in the office which sort of clued in everyone who didn't know. Ross has resigned. Phoebe and Chandler are divorcing, and I don't know how their settlement will pan out, but on the Ross-Rachel side, everything was in Rachel's name so Ross is f and also banned from driving for three years. Story 15 Not HR, but here's a couple weird things I experienced. Worked in accounting at a bacon plant. The floor directly above our office spaces was a locker room for the floor workers. I had only been working there a few days when we heard a loud bang, a pause, and then a lot of screaming and yelling. A guy shot himself in the head in the locker room because his supervisor wouldn't leave her husband for him. I left that job a few years later because my direct report, that lived a couple blocks away from me, had a psychotic break and left a voicemail telling me she had a gun and was going to kill me because she should have been promoted instead of the company hiring me. She was institutionalized for six months. I quit when the company let her come back and I was forced to work with her. She then reported to my boss instead of me. I heard later that they promoted her to my position when I left. Also at that place, the factory didn't have an on-site IT department. I was young and familiar with computers, so I was voluntold to manually install a patch to all the PCs for the I Love You virus. There was one office that was always locked because he was the only person who worked third shift. I believe he worked with overseas salespeople and didn't actually have anything to do with our local operations. My boss got the key to his office and let me in. There were dozens of framed pictures of this guy's wife. Wedding pics, glamour shots and nudes. I like the crotchless spread eagle body stocking on top of a Trans Am photo. Yes, even the nudes were in frames. He was fired. All right, folks, that's a wrap. If you like this, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. You can also share your those in the comment below. 